Absolutely. C certainly since the 24th of June, Brexit has just taken over. Uh, a lot of my personal work, a lot of the work of the government. It is a massive challenge, as, uh, as I've said in my speech uh, this morning. Um, the position is unclear, there's a lot of uncertainty, as I said in my speech. Things are moving almost on a daily basis. So what we're doing, I mean, what the government is doing is just getting ready, feeding in information into the UK system. The UK government has repeatedly said that we shall be fully involved in the negotiations on Brexit. And that is exactly what we're doing, just giving them arguments, giving them data, giving them information on the importance of the application of EU law to, to Gibraltar. EU law is so pervasive if in everything we do here. It's such an important part of our economic model. And whereas there are solutions to everything, you know, this is a significant challenge for our jurisdiction and therefore one that uh, requires a lot of careful thought and attention. How does it affect, in particular, the legal profession, which is obviously uh, the, uh, the area that we're focusing in uh, on, at this uh, ceremonial opening of the year? Well, the legal profession, I, I think we now take for granted the, the incredible amount of gateways, for example, that EU measures provide us. The European Arrest Warrant is a prime example of that. It's a very useful tool for, 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 for the conviction and for the trials of, uh, of criminals, uh, enforcement and recognition of judgment in civil and, and commercial matters, in areas of family law. It is a very big part of the practice of our profession. It impacts on a daily basis whether you're doing criminal law, whether you're doing commercial law, there's always an EU angle to it. And it's still early days and we don't know what the outcome is going to be. There is a lot of talk about uh, a hard Brexit. We've seen the comments that uh, uh, the Prime Minister has made. We've seen the, the, the comments as recently as yesterday that Donald Tusk, the, the President of the EU Council said, when, when he said that there will be either a hard Brexit or no Brexit at all. So, you know, the, the, there are issues there that we need to be very alert to and get ready to see what's coming and how we would and be able to replace a lot of these measures which make a very important contribution in making Gibraltar a safer and better jurisdiction in which to live. In other matters, you dedicated uh, quite a, a, a chunk of your address to the significant pieces of legislation that have been introduced in the last 12 months. Yes, I think we've got a good record of, 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 of the passage of legislation. Last year, we had uh, the Mental Health Act that, that, that came into force, the, the Fair Trading Act, the Employment Amendment Act on the, on the employment tribunals and the new procedures that will apply in that context. We had, of course, the European Union Referendum Act that we had to do, which put a lot of pressure on our services because we were really on the spotlight. We had to be synchronized with the legislation in the UK. There was a lot of pressure to get it absolutely right. And with, as I mentioned, with sterling work done by Paul Peralta and Nadia Cisarello Parodi in my office, we delivered, and as the House, both sides of the House commented at the time, the work had been done very well.